Why, hello, 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 hi, it is me, Razai. Sprout on TV, your Harry and DJ Ray Internet, and I can start a back. Hello, hello, hello. I have a hard time with this, and I might actually just like upload this and not publish it for a while until I have enough video stacked, maybe like, uh, you know, a handful between what I'm going to address and, uh, you know, <laughs> Here's the thing. I made a promise to myself to be responsible with you guys, right? Um, I wanted to create this little bit of like the like a little corner for us to have these conversations uh, on the internet from the perspective of being a South African black woman and, and like a, a raised in a town, like very. So I made a promise to myself that I want to be responsible with my audience when people address things with me that I feel like are a good jumping off point to create a video. I don't want to, I don't want you to feel attacked and I don't want you to feel like I'm sending people your way, you know? Um, but so I'm always like, cause it's a great way to create the content, but I also don't want it to now serve as a deterrent when people engaging with my comment, with, with my content and leaving comments. But Sometimes the comments are a great, but because now when I see a comment, it makes me aware that this is a good talk. My audience wants to hear more about this. Let me talk more about it. So please don't feel like I'm sending people your way because I'm not. And if I ever feel like whenever I address something, people go for that person, but I don't have that kind of interaction in my comments as yet. Our channel is very small. Uh, but if I ever feel like that happens, then I just won't do this kind of content uh, where I take a comment and I, you know, um, we chew on it a little bit and get some nuggets out of there because I, I actually care that you guys feel safe here. I do. Um, that said, somebody left a comment with us about my takes on marriage and um, uh <sighs> I'm using the phone to record, so I don't even think I'm going to find. Uh, the comment. Because I don't want to. I was just going to. And like. Uh, Hi, it is. Oh, listening to myself can be so much sometimes. Um, ah, there we are. I found this comment to be very respectful. Like this person really managed to address me, get their point across, uh, disagree without making me feel like they're coming for me, you know? And this is the second time I've, I've, I've felt that way. Somebody else has addressed something and I did a video on that, which is how I show up looking not put together on camera sometimes. I didn't feel that person was attacking me either. But anyway, hello, Rahadi. I recently came across your content and I've been captivated by your commentary, particularly that concerning marriages. I deeply respect your perspective, but I couldn't help but notice a subtle undertone uh, that might unintentionally suggest that those who aspire to marriage or are married are less intellectual. This could just be my sensitivity, but I did feel some type of way. I totally get you and your reasons for not subscribing to it. Very, um, very valid. But those who choose differently also have their reasons and neither choice is superior. Somebody did um, reply to this comment. And this person is replying because I think they've been here longer. And they do start by saying, well, I'm not Didi, but I think this is what she's saying. And they are completely right. Like in their response, they are very right in what they're saying. But I think, you know what, since we're here, let's have a chat about it. Um, I don't want to gaslight this person. I know exactly what they're talking about. I know the tone she's referring to. I even know the exact throwaway comments that I may have when I'm talking about marriage, where it's like, I really am coming across as like, um, it's not in her head, right? I don't, I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to be like, I don't even know what you're on about. That said, that's not really how I feel. I don't feel like they, like somebody choosing to get married is less intellectual. Having said that, there's some things I've said where I understand what could lead her to feel and say what she said. You know, um, I think that happens when I, 
the, the comments I make that may offend some of you who are married, who want to stay here and support me and engage my content, but feel like I may not value you or your take simply because you chose to get married. Maybe I don't respect your smarts or whatever. I don't want that. Um, it's the, it's the space that I exist in because often when it comes up that I don't want to get married, the reaction is to treat me like, or oh, you're so fucking childish, right? Like my take, whereas my take has always been, oh, it's not really for me, right? And even when you are saying it like that, which is how I feel, there's always somebody around you who insists or you're lying, all women want that. And I unfortunately live in a very, I live in a township. So it's conservative. It's, it's um, you know, the, 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 the norms are set in place and nobody wants to challenge those things, you know? And when you're finding yourselves drinking, chilling, whatever, it always goes there. Or people are like, oh, I'll do me. Don't you crave it? Like so-and-so is married. Didn't so-and-so get married? Don't you want it to be? Is your turn gonna come? Oh, I saw you were so involved with so-and-so's getting married. It's like they can't even fathom that you can show up for your friend who's choosing marriage. Like not even as a, what am I going to do? Genuinely be happy for them because it's what they want. They seem to have found decent partnership, you know, until that nigga fucking fucks up because, you know, you can't, you can't all the way just, oh, guys, whoa. Men, men are, <clears throat> I get, let me get back to this because I, I, I'm going to get derailed. Um, like I, I don't want to be derailed. Um, but the, I think it's always coming from that sore point of like, because when I realized this is my take and I would voice it, the take that I would get back was that. It was very condescending. It was very, like, you're going to grow up and you're going to realize that this is the, and I'm a grown ass woman. Like I'm sitting here grown and this is still how I feel. And this is my take. And I'm often disrespected about it. So I think I've taken on that shit. Um, and when I'm talking about people who choose it, it comes out in the same tone that made me feel not so good. And I'm now doing it to you guys who choose to get married. And I am actually sorry about that because it is your choice. Um, my problems, the, the, the person who replied to you, my issue is that I really do feel, I really, 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 really do feel that we aren't sitting enough with this concept as women, especially as black women and especially as black women from certain spaces. I was raised Lutheran. I grew up in the church. I'm not Christian and I haven't been for a while, but I go to friend roles and I go to, I go to gatherings. So I'm still having to like, move in those spaces because i made relationships in those spaces right um, my community as a whole is guys you know how we are so you see people making these decisions to like get married and it's like well one of this person feels like i'm 30 i'm running out of time i gotta get it done and then it's it, and we're wondering why it's not lasting. A lot of it is we didn't ask the whys. It's bothering me. And I'd be lying if I didn't say that. We don't ask enough questions. We don't dismantle enough. We don't want to pick things apart, see what's going on, chew it, chew it a little finer, digest it, figure out does this agree. We just simply are like, oh, it's going to work out because it's been working out it's such a strong institution. It, it, it's, is it? Is it? Has it been working out? Did you even like your parents' marriage? Where are your parents married? Why weren't they married? Have you looked at... We don't... Like, the lack of interrogation bugs the fuck out of me. It bugs me. Because I honestly, truly believe a lot more women would get further ahead if they avoided this institution or if they put it off or if they asked enough whys and then they wouldn't be ending up partnered with the wrong person because often it derails us as women. It bothers me. It always comes back to the fact that I simply can't see to a large degree, let me not say that, to a large degree, I can't see where we win and I see us somewhat see that but choose to look away because, well, that's what you do. You know, you come to age and then you get married. 
we're better than that. We must be better than. I hope we are. I would want us to move. Do you know what's crazy? Asking why, and then why, and then why. Asking those uncomfortable questions. You, you shy away from it because you fear the answer is going to be, oh, this is a bad idea. The answer could very well still be, I still want this and this is a great idea for me. Like, I actually think that could still end up being the answer for some of you. But you don't even want to do that work, right? You don't even want to get into that. I think I just see too many women going through it. It's, it's, it's hard for me. It's, it's truly something that weighs on me because I look around and I'm like, the girls are not winning. And more often than not, like a woman's life being like negatively impacted, especially by marriage and a marriage that's produced children, that ripple effect, it affects like so many lives, you know, because you, you're generally like, you're, 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 you're probably the primary parent for these kids. And you know, the strain that I've seen women have to take simply because they did not want to spend time. I've seen people get married under very questionable circumstances. And it, it's these experiences and these observations that have me at, can we just stop? Like, stop Delori. Can we just, you know, stop for a second? We're smart. We're fucking smart. Can we stop for a second and go, what is this thing? And why, why, what is this design? Because design is supposed to be practical and functional. Whatever is this thing? Is it, a, is it that? You know, this thing that they're saying, mm, I need more of us to do that. I do. I really, really do. Because it can, you know, it can fuck up. I really believe it gets in the way of our purpose. Just not asking the why. And sometimes for me, in fact, I believe most of you who really want this uh, thing, asking why, you won't necessarily arrive at, I don't want this. You'll arrive at, it's not this person. And I think because we don't want to be alone and lonely and, and start over because we know somebody is peed in the fucking pool and our choices are slim to none, we don't want to ask those things because we end up with the answer being, this is not your person. You, you may still very much want this thing, but this might not be your person. And we're not ready to hear that. We want this moment. We want to wear the dress. We want the tablescaping. We want the flowers. And you are literally, like the trade-off doesn't make sense for me. The thing that you're getting that moment and that title versus what your life is actually going to be, it bugs the fuck out of me. It bugs me. But anyway, that, that's my take. I understand what tone you're talking about, and I'm going to work on it. I'm going to work on it because I think I have quite a few people here who like to hear what I have to say, but they probably also like, you know, and that's not to say I'm going to change my takes or anything, but if I'm wanting my message to, especially sometimes I'm just talking and we're having fun, but if I'm wanting, when, if, if, if it bugs me like how I'm saying it bugs me, and I'm really wanting women to start asking the kind of questions that I feel are for our, our betterment and our protection. I, I, my approach might need to, yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to work my tone around that if I'm going to get us to sit down and ask the questions that I want us to ask. But that's it. That, that, that's my take on marriage. It's still not uh, for me. I've seen it work rather well for people. And I'm not going to lie, every time I've seen it be successful, the woman was doing the, you know, the lion's share of the work. But it, it, it worked and she seems to be happy and it helps to not, you know, that ignorance is bliss shit, like my mom's generation, them. It helps for them to not realize that they're doing the lion's share. You know, it helps for them to still be, especially with the gender roles and the the, the division of labor, it helps for them to still think that's their responsibility because then they don't stop to question anything, which is something that obviously I don't possess. I don't have that capability to not ask questions. I am allergic to not asking questions. That's it, darling. Bye.